Hello, sports fans. It's time for week two of Friday Night Frenzy. I'm your host, Glenn Kittle. We've got boys and girls basketball coming your way pretty soon with a sprinkle of hockey as well. But we're going to start on the hardwood. Let's get right into it, shall we? Central coming off of their first loss of the season last Friday, hosting Holyoke on Monday. Central inbounds it to Xavier Monroe at the corner and in the face, but he knocks down the tray. Holyoke ball now, gives it to Luis Figueroa. Jumper on the move, got it for the Purple Knights. Central inbounding to Monroe at the top of the key. He gets it to Calvin Godbolt. Beyond the arc, gets it to go. Monroe bringing the ball up for Sench. Long two from the elbow, but doesn't fall. Jabari Seifrin gets the board, but goes down with the ball. Gets it to Dwayne Early. Demil Rodriguez. How do you do, sir? He's right on time for the block on Early. Central ball now. Everybody able to get a hand on the possession. And Monroe from the top of the key drops in for three. Jordan King getting double teamed at half court. Able to get it to Sean Rivera, who dishes it to Dylan Rohan in the corner. Nylon. Rohan nails it for the Holy Oak three. But it won't be enough, though, as Central wins big. 64-51, to 51, they win it behind 31 points from Calvin Godbolt. Now onto the ice, Belchertown visiting Westfield at Amelia Ice Rink on Wednesday night. Bombers already up 3 to nothing. Belchertown passes the puck behind the net. Great and Kendall fires. Saved by Evan Mastroani. Michael Pelletier clears the puck on the boards. Later in the second period, Westfield's Nicholas Lacombe passes to Michael Pelletier. Pelletier's wrist shot won't go. Rebound by Blake Calvalone. Passes to Quinn O'Brien, and it's O'Brien with the Bombers' fourth goal tonight. They're up 4 0. Still in the second, Orioles with the puck. Belchertown shoots on net and saved by Evan Mastroani. Westfield with the puck. Darren Schnapp passes to Ryan Goodrow. Goodrow passes to Owen M Moore, who taps it in for the Bombers' fifth. Final score in that one. Westfield shuts out Belchertown, 7 to nothing. 6-2 Chog Falcons hosting the 3-3 three three Spartans of East Long Meadow. Ainsley Holden gets it outside to Kelly Cronin, who takes the corner. Three falls just short. Holden right on place in the right time. Gets the board and the bucket for the Falcons. Chog spreading the love here. Ball gets whipped all over the court to a wide open. Cronin in the corner. She won't miss twice. Going to go to Holden again, out to Cronin. The dynamic duo knocks down a deep two. What was on the line? Just. Chog once again gets it to Cronin in the corner. That's her spot. She's going to drill another. He's going to end up with 16 on the night. Cronin gets it beyond the arc. Looks to drive before ditching it back to Ava Manning. She's going to hit a deep two. Finally, some Spartan action. Carolyn Harju. Gets it at the corner, going to force her way underneath for the easy bucket and one. Holden, going to be driving in, can't quite get the lay-in, but teammate Alani Botas gets the rebound and puts it back up for two. Chog gets the dub at home, final score in that one. Big win, 61-14. to 14.